Hey everyone, Reflected here, with Beware Beware, my new DCS Spitfire 9 campaign just around the corner, I thought I'd make a video about RAF lingo and code words that you may encounter during the campaign. Actually, a friend of mine gave me the idea, and he said some of the players may be quite new to World War II when they start my campaign. So here we go. Briefing chaps, at 15.30 we're off to France for Rodeo 115. The route is the usual Hardelo Santomer Graveline Triangle. No balls on this rodeo. Rodeo is the RAF codeword for fighter sweeps over enemy territory. You'll fly a lot of these in the campaign. Listen, chaps, today 611 Squadron will take part in Circus 235. Circus. That's the RAF codeword for daytime bomber attacks with fighter escorts against short range targets. Hello, this is Station Commander speaking. All squadrons, scramble. All squadrons, scramble. Scramble means get into the air as quickly as possible because the enemy is near. These are not pre-planned missions. You'll get directions over the radio once you're airborne. Hello Gimlet. Hello Gimlet. Zona calling. Zona calling. Switch to Charles C for Charlie. Over. Hello Zona. Gimlet answering. Roger. Channel C. Gimlet is the call sign of 611 Squadron. Every squadron had a unique call sign. For example, uh, 340, the Free French, was Turban. You'll fly together with them in many missions. The squadrons were further divided into flights. Red, blue, yellow, sometimes even white. And each flight had two to four aircraft. So if you're Gimlet Yellow 4, that means you're the last aircraft in the second flight of number 611 squadron. Zona is the call sign of the radar controller that is responsible for the airspace over southeast England. So you need to monitor that frequency before crossing the channel. Gimlet to Crossseed, what's the form? Hello Gimlet, this is Crossseed. We have several plots building over the target. We'll keep you updated. Grassseed is a radar controller agency based in Appledore, England. Its responsibility was to control fighters over enemy territory, so northern France in our case. Grass Seed will give you vectors to intercept enemy formations or warn you of potential dangers. 15 plus over Bologna, heading south. Angel 3 0. Angels. This has nothing to do with winged guardians, it's the altitude in thousand feet. So, Angels 30 would be 30,000 feet. This expression is still used today. Grassy to Cattell, 15 plus bandits approaching your position. Steer 210. Buster. Bandits. You probably know this one. This is the code word for enemy aircraft. But what is Buster? In modern aviation, it means maximum power without selecting afterburners. In World War II, it was pretty much the same. Fly at maximum throttle without applying emergency settings. Snappers below. Snappers. It's a very RAF specific slang for enemy fighters. Roger, tally ho. On your toes, chaps. Drop your babies and attack. Tally ho. Originally, it's the traditional cry made by the huntsman to tell others that the quarry has been sighted. It originates from the French word taillou, which was used to excite the hounds when hunting deer. In World War II aviation, it was used to tell the others that the enemy has been spotted. Drop your babies. Nobody's dropping any kids out of the sky. It's the 45 gallon external slipper tank that Spitfires carried in order to extend their limited range. In combat, it only added weight and drag, so you wanted to get rid of it before engaging the enemy. Yellow 3 to yellow 4. As you gravy. I still got about 30 gallons. Nobody's eating anything. Gravy is RAF slang for fuel, sometimes also called juice. With the limited fuel capacity of the Spitfire, it was always a hot topic while returning to base across the channel. While testing the campaign, I often landed with four or five gallons left, and that was pretty common during World War II as well. Take that, Jerry! The British often referred to the Germans as Jerry while they called the Brits Tommies. Mayday, Mayday, Gimlet Blue 4 has gone down to the drink just off the Somme. Mayday. It comes from the French 
MIDI, so help me. When spoken over the radio, it clearly states that the person has an emergency situation, even in modern day aviation. And Gimlet Blue 4 did not go down to the pub for a drink. The drink means the water, in this case the English Channel that he crashed into. Monitor Gimlet Red 2, pancake, I repeat, pancake immediately. No maple syrup for this one. Pancake is the code word for landing. So Gimlet Red 2 was ordered to land ASAP. I'm sure you knew most of these already. If not, I hope this video managed to clarify a few things. Now you're definitely ready to fly beware beware. Assuming you watched my Spitfire tutorial and have been practicing hard. If you can think of any other code words that I missed or you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe. See ya!